Hello everyone, I'm Junie, the mascot of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office and the faithful sidekick of Sheriff Wayne Ivy. Throughout my life, I've been blessed to serve as a law enforcement canine and to serve with the amazing men and women of the Brevard County Sheriff's Office. As some of you have probably already figured out, I am a bloodhound, and yes, I know, I am a very big bloodhound, as both me and my handler love to eat. While I am big now, I wasn't always this big, as when I first came to the Sheriff's Office, I was just 10 weeks old. My Sheriff's Office family actually named me Junie, after Junie Rios Martinez, a little boy here in our community that was abducted and murdered back in 1991. When I was first sworn in for duty, my badge was pinned on me by Junie's mom, and I have attended every one of her son's memorials ever since. Now after being sworn in, I went to work as a member of our Bloodhound Canine Team, where I was trained to search for missing children, seniors with Alzheimer's, and even dangerous criminals who try and victimize those in our community. I was also trained in our Paws and Stripes College to be a child comfort dog that helps children who have been the victims of crime. In addition to all that, I also worked with the SPCA and our state legislators to pass new legislation in the state of Florida that allows pets to be listed in domestic violence injunction orders so that we can protect them as well from being victims of domestic violence. Bottom line, I've been out here working each and every day to keep our citizens and our children safe, and I love every minute of it. In fact, I've spent nearly my entire life searching for missing children, seniors with Alzheimer's, and even suspects, while also comforting and bringing joy to thousands and thousands of children at schools, community events, and those that have unfortunately fallen victim to crime. In addition to all that, I'm our agency mascot, and I'm responsible for making sure my Uber driver, Sheriff Ivy, is well taken care of and protected. When I travel around our community with Sheriff Ivy, one of the questions I most often ask is how can parents create a do-it-yourself child safety kit in the event that their son or daughter goes missing or is lost? That answer is simple, as parents can make a child safety kit by doing just a few things, such as for DNA purposes, putting a buccal swab taken from inside your child's cheek into a plastic bag keeping a recent photo of your child and a lock of your child's hair in a separate bag, and lastly, taking a piece of clothing or even a sock that was recently worn by your child and securing it in a Ziploc bag that locks the scent inside. In the event your child goes missing, your article of clothing is used as a scent article for me and my partners to use to track them by. Our handler will put the item in a paper bag and then give us the command to search, which is our signal to track. Bloodhounds like me can track for miles. Okay, maybe not me at my current age, but still, we are designed to track for miles and can successfully track missing children, seniors with dementia or Alzheimer's, and even suspects for hours. Once we find what we are looking for, we are rewarded by our handler with love and praise, which is all we work for, as we just want to be loved and to do a good job. Well, hopefully this tells you a little bit about my journey in life and how I became America's top police dog. It is an honor to serve as a law enforcement officer and to have such amazing support from citizens like you that stand shoulder to shoulder with the men and women and canines of law enforcement. It is our honor to serve you.